this is really That limb's finna come down. They stand out there just fishing. falling on me. Well, you can just feel like the, the pressure dropping or something. The hell is that blowing across the yard? Yeah, it's starting to rain. Shit, I need to lay some stuff down that I don't want to get broke. Because it's happening. It's happening, bro. Oh, boy. I shouldn't be fucking worried about this, but... Now that is gonna pick that slam up off the ground and blow it. Fucking break my mirror. Oh. <sighs> It's like little bullets hitting me. It is. Well, I guess I can... Something just blew off my roof. I hope it wasn't the thing that blows up the damn hole. Oh. 
love living like white trash. Oh, like white trash. I really am that way. No, it hadn't took off with my piece of glass yet, but I can, there's every reason to believe that it will be gone before this is over. There's really every reason to believe that this, this, this house, yeah, uh, this, this dwelling will be gone shortly. And I guess, by proxy, me with it. of reservation and trust land engulfed by acres upon acres seated by treaty or taken by force. And Carapola's map serves as a reminder that the population of the American countryside stretches back long before 1776 and 1492. This isn't really a protest, but it's a way to convey the truth in a different way. A way that's already been out the continental United States, Canada, and Mexico. Carapella says next up is Alaska. Ah, it is doing that. Oh shit. Check. From NPR News. First time young soprano and this week's from the top of hit a high E. The results were startling. My coach had written me a clip. So I figured I might as well give it a shot. Grabbed myself and sang it and boom. I wanted to enjoy this risk taking teenage girl by the time of the one on Troy University Public Radio. Oh, don't blow my little plan off. Let me just fix that. Because that thing is just thriving. Village Turkey, find out what's new in London, and see the sights of St. Petersburg. Good Joe's Trucks, it's something magical. On Travel with Rick Steves. Tuesday evenings at 7 and Sunday mornings at 6 on Troy Public Radio. It's 11 before 4 o'clock. You're listening to All Things Considered. Well, why is my computer doing that? Good to have you along with us this afternoon. Next hour, it's a campaign year, which means... Yeah. The changing face of campaigns coming up. From NPR News, this is All Things Considered. I'm Audie Cornish. Callie and Ray has been busy. The Bangladesh-born writer is also a translator and actor. And maybe why 10 years have passed since his first novel was released. God, this place is absolutely a mess. The second is now out. If, I, if it was to come a tornado, I, it wouldn't be the wind and the, it'd be damn getting hit by shrapnel. Like everything in here is it opens in sharp or pointed. Oh, hell. Diving deep to find a motive. Within pages, we're back in the 1840s in an impoverished Ireland. Two friends, Patrick Ahern and Brendan McCarthy. Wind is blowing so many different directions. Political repression and murder. They ain't gonna tell a bloody thing on the radio, so I give up on that. 